So today I'm going to be covering a topic that I've tried to stay away from for quite some time because it's such a subjective topic and that is ACF or jet engine, which is the right one for me. Simple answer, there is no right one for you. It all comes down to the way that you learn, the way that you implement things and the job you may have at hand. So once we get that out of the way, I'm going to give you some pros and cons of each of those so you can make a more informed decision. Then it's entirely up to you which way you go. So without further ado, let's start off with the first point. Now I've got some notes by the side of me, so I will be going back and forth to these notes as we go through this video. But hopefully, like I say, by the end of it, you'll have a clearer understanding of some of the pros and cons of each of these different tools. Now, first of all, the learning curve. Something you have to be aware of is whichever of these tools you choose, there's going to be quite a steep learning curve. Yes, the basics are fairly simple and straightforward to get your head around, and once you understand how dynamic content works within the confines of a tool like Elementor, it's fairly straightforward. However, that is the basics. Once you get beyond the basics, you'll realize there are a ton of really complex subjects in which you can tap into to create much more complex websites. Now, I've covered quite a few different topics like this in the deep dive videos that I've put together over the last sort of six or eight months. And I'll put links in the description below for all those different tutorials so you can take a look at the Jet Engine deep dives and the ACF Pro deep dives. Then you can take a little look and see how some of these things are done. But just bearing in mind that there is a learning curve. Now, with that learning curve, what would make it easier is good quality training material, documentation and help and support. Now, this is where there's quite a divide between the two different products. Let's start off with ACF and let me just make this caveat there right now. I'm talking about ACF when it comes down to working within a visual environment like Elementor Pro, like Beaver Builder, like Brizzy, like Gutenberg. I'm not talking about whether you want to hand code things. If you are into hand coding, then obviously Jet Engine is not going to be for you because it's all set up to work within either Elementor Pro or inside Gutenberg. So just bearing that in mind, I'm going to take out all that hand coding side of things and we're going to put that by the by. That's a completely different topic and one for its own dedicated video. So training. The materials that are available by Crocoblock, we'll start with Crocoblock because obviously this is all geared towards working with a tool like Elementor. The Crocoblock training material, while there's a lot of it and the same goes with the documentation, it's not, in my opinion, that well formatted and structured. There's way too much information being assumed in these training videos, so you don't really get a good understanding of what's being put together because a lot of the key core fundamentals are being glossed over and not being covered. Without those, there's just too much confusion going on in there. So if you're relying upon training material, you are going to rely upon third parties, people like myself that have looked at it in a more logical fashion, hopefully, and created something that at least gives you the core skills and the core knowledge that you need to get the most out of tools like Jet Engine. When it comes to ACF, that's a completely different thing because most of the training out there is going to be covering it from a hand coding point of view. So being comfortable jumping into the core files of WordPress, jumping into the theme files and adding in your own code and then styling it through CSS and so on. So you are not going to have an abundance of information, whichever of these options you choose, you are going to have to pick and choose and find out resources that will give you good quality training and information. To go back to Jet Engine, there are some of the key fundamentals in there, use short codes and so on inside some of the more advanced panels. These are covered to a small extent in the documentation, but they're quite hard to find. They're not that well explained. So again, you are kind of on your own there. You do have the Jet Engine, or you do have the Croco Block um, Facebook group, which is a good place, and they do give great support there. So you do have that. However, it can lead to frustration if you're trying to create something and you just don't know where to find that information and you're just not getting any real help from the documentation or the training material. So bear in mind, whichever one you choose, you are going to have to invest time and effort into learning it, sifting through training courses, training material, YouTube videos, documentation, and help to get the results you may be looking for. So just bear that in mind, this is not a simple couple of clicks and you've got a fully dynamic website. Time is gonna be have to be invested in learning to get the most out of these. Now, one other thing that's worth bearing in mind is we're not really comparing an apples to apples comparison where we're looking at Advanced Custom Fields Pro and Jet Engine. 
The reason I say that is Advanced Custom Fields Pro does one job. It creates meta fields and it can link those through to posts, pages and so on, media files and things inside WordPress itself. If you want to go beyond that, you have to look at third party tools or you have to hand code a few bits and pieces like custom post types and so on. This is something that separates these two plugins quite widely. There's a big divide between them. Like I say, ACF just creates meta fields, whereas Jet Engine is more of a suite of tools wrapped up all around creating meta fields. So you can create your meta fields in a similar fashion to what you can do with Advanced Custom Fields Pro. We can also create custom post types, custom listing layouts, custom forms, a whole range of different things are all part of Jet Engine. And for the price you pay for Jet Engine, a single license I think is something like about $14. That's a lot of power for a very small amount of money. But like I say, with that comes quite a steep learning curve. On the other hand, when you look at ACF Pro, if you want to get all those functions, there are tools out there, and most of these are free tools, so if you want to get custom post types, you can use CPT UI, completely free. If you want to create custom listings and you're working with Elementor, you can use Ellie Custom Skin, completely free. So there are a lot of different things that you can tap into to match up with the amount of control and features you have as part of Jet Engine, but bearing in mind they are separate third-party plugins that have their own support mechanisms. There could be incompatibilities further on down the line as different things are updated, whereas Jet Engine is one platform all from the same developers. So this is a positive for Jet Engine and a little bit of a negative if you want to get into more complex setups using custom post types and all those kinds of things. So bear that in mind. However, like I say, there are a ton of tools that are available and I've covered most of these in both deep dive videos and in their own dedicated videos, which again will be part of the playlists you'll see in the description. So if you want to check those out and see what can be done, I'd recommend taking a look at those. Now, when it comes to ACF Pro compared to Jet Engine and the meta field side of things, ACF Pro has more meta fields available to you. So there are more fields that are available you can tap into into your design. Plus, ACF Pro is very extensible. In other words, there are a lot of third-party add-ons that will expand what you can do inside the core functionality of ACF. Take away the custom post types and all those kinds of things. If you want, for example, to add in a meta field type for uh, Font Awesome 5, there's a plugin that'll do exactly that and give you access to that. So there's a lot of extra tools you can tap into that'll expand the larger starting point that you have with ACF Pro compared to Jet Engine. However, they may not be the kinds of things you even need in your project. So take a look at what are on offer there. Take a look if these are things that are vital to your projects. And if they are, invest your time in learning that one. If they're not, then you have access to both of these to choose which is the best one for you. But like I say, there are more meta fields available straight out of the box with ACF Pro than there is in Jet Engine. However, saying that, the cost for ACF Pro has gone up now, so the cost of entry is going to be higher if you want ACF Pro. Now, speaking of being extensible, you can, if you want to, you can use ACF in conjunction with Jet Engine. You don't have to use Jet Engine to create your meta fields. You could use ACF Pro for that, and then you could tap into all the different tools you have available as part of Jet Engine, and then you can open up a ton of possibilities and cut down the plugins you want to use. But there is a caveat to that. While Jet Engine has a ton of built-in functionality that you can tap into visually inside Elementor and Elementor Pro, some of those things are still a little bit clunky and unwieldy. They still require you to understand some HTML code, CSS code, short codes, and things like that. So for example, repeater regions. Repeater regions are something that are very, very powerful. And if you don't know how much data is going to be included in a particular post type, these make the whole possibility of using that very easy. And both of them, Jet Engine and ACF Pro, make setting those up a very simple affair. However, outputting them, not so simple. Jet Engine allows you to do this, but it's not very easy to do. You still, like I say, need to get in and do some coding and so on. Whereas if you use tools like Anywhere Elemental Pro or Dynamic Content for Elemental, two plugins that are like Swiss Army knives when it comes to dealing with dynamic content with ACF alongside Elemental, they make the whole process painless. You can create custom templates if you want to, or you can simply use some of the predefined templates. So within seconds, you could have a basic layout set up, whereas if you're using Jet Engine, 
It might take you a lot longer because you need to find the documentation that tells you how to set things up. You need to learn how to set it up, how to pull in the meta fields you want, how to format things, how to style things. So just bearing in mind that there are some things that are just easier when you're using ACF and some third party tools in comparison to what you do when you're working inside Jet Engine. Another good example of this is when it comes to working with relationships. Relationships are vital when you're dealing with database. For example, let's just say you have a real estate website and you've got a property for sale. Underneath that, you might have a relationship through to the agent that's selling it. And on the flip side, you could have an agent that has multiple properties. So there are relationships set up between those two different custom post types. Creating them is pretty straightforward in ACF. In all honesty, it's very simple and straightforward. And then tapping into those tools like Anywhere Elemental Pro or Dynamic Content for, for Elemental makes outputting this, outputting those relationships really, really simple. Jet Engine, you can do it, but it's not, it's just not as simple. It's just not as straightforward. There seems to be more advanced knowledge assumed just to get those end results out there. So to me, ACF is a more mature product that makes a lot of these things considerably easier and linking those through to tools like Anywhere Elemental Pro or Dynamic Content for Elemental gives you a fantastic platform that will easily rival something like Jet Engine. So take a look at that. Yes, the cost of entry is a little more expensive, but a lot of the time you can get unlimited plans for very, very good value that you can use on multiple projects. So that's a combination that me personally, I've used in quite a few different projects and it's very, very powerful. So take a look at things like that before you make a decision. The third party tools could be a deal breaker. Now, speaking of third party tools, this is another area where ACF excels. There are tons of third party tools that'll work with it as just ACF, but also in conjunction with uh, so like Gutenberg or dealing with you know, uh, Elemental Pro. <coughs> Whereas the third party support for Jet Engine is still very, very, very minimal. So have I given you a definitive answer to which is the right one for you, whether it should be ACF Pro or Jet Engine? I very much doubt it, but hopefully what this has done is, is giving you some things to look into so you can make a much more informed decision. As I said at the top of the video, take a look at those playlists that are in the description below for both Advanced Custom Fields Pro and for Jet Engine, so you can get an understanding of how these tools work in real world scenarios from the basics right the way up to building a fully fledged website. Get yourself as much knowledge so you can make an informed decision for yourself. All of the applicable links are down in the description below, including those playlists. Now, some of the links are affiliate links, and if you choose to use those, you help support the channel, help me create more content for you moving forward, cost you absolutely no more money. As always, my name is Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.